life and love and abundance and work for it. And work for it. Work for it. I love it. Synagens family, thank you for joining us for episode 12 of Billion Dollar Lips. I'm your host, Vice President of Global Events for Synagens, Melanie Bradshaw, and today we have three incredible guests joining Joni Rogers Conte for some very special one-on-one -on -one conversations. These women are some of Synagens' most experienced distributors, and all of them offer a wealth of knowledge on longevity and success within the company. Starting us off is the one and only Don Christian who is talking with Joni about changing seasons, the value of enthusiasm, and the importance of family. Let's listen in. Hi, my name is Dawn Christian. I'm from Oklahoma, and I've been a Synergence distributor since November of 2005, after actually signing up two other times as a personal use distributor. Today I'm meeting with Joni to talk about family and the seasons of business. You know, as we're sitting here talking about uh, Synergens and the things we've been able to accomplish together, and I really do mean together, as you know, uh, it's taken a, a huge village and you've been a, a very important pillar within that village. I think back to uh, a lovely young woman with three tiny kids who uh, had joined the company, and I remember how, how, um, you struggled from time to time with the fact that you were working so hard at making sure that you kept your priorities uh, because it was important for you to be a mother. The most important thing was to be a mother and I saw the potential for this business but I knew that my children being in my care was a very short season as we know now they're all almost adults and I didn't want to miss out on that that season of life and I knew that this opportunity was going to always be there for me at whatever level I wanted it to be so I just decided this is what I'm going to do for right now and when the kids are a little bit older I'll be able to devote more time and that was the way I viewed the business model and I knew that I didn't have to rush myself then and you never pushed me to do that you were always just so Whatever season I was in, you were encouraging me to be in that season and not rush it. And so I thank you for that because I felt like I could be a mom and put business second. And then when the time came, I was able to, to amp up my business. And so just thank you so much for always being so encouraging and never rushing me and letting me, because you relate as a mom, you know what it's like to be a mom and right. letting right. not only me, but all of us put motherhood before well, I, I, I remember looking back and having conversations with you about the seasons of, of life and, and I could tell that you were, you know, your strength was boiling up and you were, you were feeling that, that excitement about what you knew you could accomplish uh, once you felt comfortable doing it and how frustrated you were from time to time because you were uh, keeping your children and your husband a priority and you just didn't, um, um, uh, you prudently did not uh, carve your family out uh, of your ambitious plans. You made sure that you always kept them first and foremost in your life and I'm really proud of that. You've set an amazing example for so many thousands of women. Uh, for doing that. And well, now, you set one for me, so. And that, and now the kids are almost gone, so thank goodness you will be traveling on my behalf to help train the distributors. Yeah, and now they want to, do you remember that when you kept asking me to go travel and I was like, I can't, you know, football and all the things were going on and I told you, when they're older, I will do it. And I'm going to hold you to I that too. Are. I've been waiting. <laughs> and speaking of which, I know the family, um, they came with you on, on this trip, and that was fun. Yeah, this is only the second trip I've taken them on. <laughs> oh, it is, isn't it? Well, well, how many trips have you been on? This is total? actually, we were counting yesterday, this is the 13th trip. 13th? Yep. So we've literally seen the world together. Yes, What's we your have. Favorite? It's gonna have to be Switzerland because it was the first one, and that igloo we stayed in, you know, and you, your snow boots broke, and been duct taping them together. The memories from that one are probably the best for Cheyenne and I both. Yep. 
that's amazing because that I would say that was my least <laughs> favorite. I was freezing to death. You were not too happy I about got the igloo. From it. Well, yeah. hey, it provided memories for us. So yeah. thank you for the sacrifice. But, well, it's a trip we'll never forget for sure. For sure. Yeah. I love what Dawn was saying about ambition and determination while embracing the seasons that we are in. It is such an important thing to think about, not just within Synagems, but in everyday life. All right, the next incredible woman we are hearing from is a founding pioneer distributor and the first queen of Synagems. Jerry Taylor Swade is a force to be reckoned with. She is going to be talking with Joni about podcasting, living a life of leadership, and a career of firsts. My name is Jerry Taylor Swade, and I'm a Ruby Queen at Senegens International. I'm actually the first queen of the company. I'm so proud to be here in Hawaii with Joni Rogers Conte, and she's going to interview me today. I think she's going to talk about leadership and about legacy and about my podcast and about the many firsts that I've had in the company. Thank you for watching. It's kind of weird when I when I sit and talk to you because you joined the very first day that LipSense was in the marketplace. I know. So we <laughs> Isn't that crazy? A long way. Twenty three years. Yes. And you know what I love about uh, our relationship and our involvement, what? and that is how proud I am of the professionalism that both of us um, conducted ourselves at, at the level of which we conducted ourselves because it was it, at, at some point it was a rocky journey. It was. And we, we and never, thank you for that compliment. I appreciate that. Well, you were always the most professional distributor, the most professional woman, uh, an amazing mentor, mm -hmm. uh, and you stand uh, for lots of things that are the right way to do it. You're going right? to make me cry. You're going to make me cry. Well, so speaking of which, you're also a very good student because as I look back over our history together, mm -hmm. uh, you hold many first uh, for the company. I do. And, that and is true. And really a major part of helping us build the company in that when I would say things like get a URL, create um, create a, um, a newsletter, a monthly newsletter. Mm -hmm. This is how you need to do recognition. This is what you talk about. This, this is what you turn around and teach your girls. This is how you have meetings and, and, and so much more that you have created on your own. You were always the first to do it. Thank you. Even though I didn't know what I was doing, but I, I learned. But you did it because you mm -hmm. were a good student. What do you attribute your tenacity to for having the foresight to stay with Synergence and build your business? Belief. It's all about belief. And, and, and so what do you base that belief on? First of all, when I first started, I believed in the product because that's all I knew. I didn't know anything about the company or, mm -hmm. or what this future was going to be like 23 years later. Mm -hmm. But I believed in the products and then as I started working the business, I started believing in what this business could do for women and for their families and for my family and for my future. And then it was about a team and about never wanting to let my team down and always trying to um, be a model for them to, to look up to in that if I quit, then what would they do? I, my motto is keep on keeping on, and you know that, Joni, because I feel like quitters quit, and I'm not a quitter, and there has been some hard times. We've been through some very hard, up and down, challenging times, but I always knew that we would make it through. I always believed in you. I always believed in the vision. I always believed in what this business could be for so many women around the world, and so I think 
think that's I think that's why I'm still here. <laughs> you are, um, I believe, the distributor within the database who has the greatest number of distributors in every country. Uh, that yes. So that's very cool. Yes, it is very exciting. But my goal is to be, have one in every country that we're in. So I haven't done that yet. Mm -hmm. But I'm excited about that. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. Good. Good. I love the fact that as I was in this company, I learned that women around the world are the same. They, we all have the basic same wants and needs and desires. And I didn't know that because I was never exposed to globalness, mm -hmm. right? And now I am, and I realize that women have the same loves and they love their family and they want to achieve and I've learned that and thanks to you that I've learned that because I've been able to travel the world. And one of the, the, the fun things for me to sit back and watch you do is write your books. How many have you been a part of now? Well, I've been a co-author in three and you mentioned me in your book uh -huh. so that's four books. Oh wow, pretty impressive. Thank you. Did you ever see that? No, yeah. <laughs> never, yeah. never. Cool. Everybody keeps saying, when are you going to write your book? I don't know if I ever will, but it's pretty exciting. Well, tell me about your podcast. You know, my podcast was one of those things that I just felt like I needed to do because I wanted to, it's not for my team, it's just in general for for Senegens distributors and direct sellers. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I wanted to give information that I've learned over the years about direct selling and, and share with other people that maybe are thinking about getting into direct sales or maybe they're in direct sales and maybe they don't have a mentor or something like that and so I had to learn how to do that that was a big learning curve and where can we go to listen to it Kappa with the Queen is the name of the podcast very cute mm -hmm. well Jerry thank you for joining me thank here you today. as usual I'm, I'm indebted to you I love you thank and I thank you. you for your friendship and your loyalty thank you so much Mwah. kissable <laughs> Last but certainly not least, we have Lisa Tippin Morris, a Senna sister from Louisiana who has been killing it in the industry since 2012. She is going to be talking with Joni about dreaming big, creating opportunities, and the importance of believing in yourself. Let's take a look. I am Lisa Tippin Morris. I'm a Ruby Empress with Cinegents. I've been in nine years. Uh, today, I am going to speak with Joni about how this business has taught me to be my own boss, be dependent upon myself, help others learn to do the same thing, and then how this business can help you achieve awesome things that you never thought possible. How many places have you traveled to with us? I think about 15 or 16. 15 or 16. Yeah. I remember our trip to Bali. Me too. That was amazing. Yes. Yeah. One of my favorites. Yeah, and in fact, Lisa, it, it, uh, if I think about Bali, and I think that you were the only qualifier uh, who qualified for the LIPS trip mm -hmm. because no one thought it was possible. It was a fairly new program, and um, you joined the company, mm -hmm. and within six months, you earn the trip to Bali. I know. And so you went with the family and Michael and Mary, and we just had a great time. We became friends. Yes, we did. It's been a long friendship. Yeah. I've missed you. I love you. <laughs> I love you too. So let's talk about, let's talk about that. I mean, we were um, at that period of time uh, within the company's growth, we were still relatively a small category company. You came in and it's like you stirred the pot. And you said, oh no, no, this is not gonna do. Yeah. And so basically you created, uh, well, you have your own style. You brought your own style with you. You decided you were gonna do things the way that you wanted to do as you were showing them that you can be yourself and be who you are and use your own style to succeed. So talk about what it was like to step in and take advantage of what was already here mm -hmm. and then apply it to your personality and to the market you wanted to create um, and, and do it your own way. Well, you know, when you have a product 
that you love so much because it really worked. Like you can have this like built-in business card on your hand that uh -huh. stays on uh -huh. and people are going to ask you about it. You're not having to feel like a salesperson because you're really just sharing a product that they're going to love and an opportunity that can change their life. Mm -hmm. And so that's really what happened to me because you know, in the beginning, I had no intentions of even doing this. Mm -hmm. In fact, I said, I'm never selling this and I'm never doing a video. Y'all can forget it. <laughs> I mean, I'm like, I was told, do a YouTube video. I'm like, I'm never doing a video. You can forget it. And life changed when uh -huh. I started doing it. Uh -huh. You know, not that I knew everything. Mm -hmm. I didn't. And you don't need not. to, do you? Oh, absolutely not. In fact, if a person waits until they know everything to get started, they're never going to start. Mm -hmm. Because I've been in like nine years and I've been on 15 or 16 fabulous trips. I've made a lot of friends and I still don't know everything and mm -hmm. neither will I ever. Mm -hmm. Do you ever allow the the chatter and everyone else's opinion to affect oh, your 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 work, your approach, your attitude? Absolutely not ever. And at first I kind of did, and then I learned what the meaning of keep your blinders on, you know, means mm -hmm. because I see so many people that worry about what Susie Q's doing or Betty Ann's doing or you know, Lisa doesn't even want to know what Susie Q's doing. I could care less what Susie Q's doing because that's not my business. Uh -huh. It's not my business what somebody else is doing. Mm -hmm. My business is to share these products, share this company, share mm -hmm. the opportunity, and then help somebody else achieve a dream and mm -hmm. teach those people mm -hmm. to keep their blinders on and do not worry. Like have tunnel vision. You have to have, if you truly have a goal, you see that goal. What is that goal? It could be a trip. It could be a car. You look at that and you don't look at what everybody else is doing. Mm -hmm. And another thing that I've learned in this business is never, ever compare yourself to someone else or mm -hmm. their accomplishments because that will that will steal your joy. Mm -hmm. yeah, that brings tears to my eyes I just know, thinking Martin, about that morning. Truth. Oh, isn't that sweet? I love, love you so much. Mm -hmm. You've been my mentor, you've been my friend, and I've learned a lot from you too, babe. Well, now that we have heard all the Cinna wisdom from these three incredible women, along with the queen herself, Joni Rogers Conte, Dawn Christian is coming back to talk to us about the beautiful makeup look she is wearing today and how you can recreate it at home. Hey guys, so I just wanted to share with you the makeup that I wore for my latest interview with Joni and you probably won't believe this, but it's the most simplest makeup routine ever. Um, I'm hardly wearing really very many products at all, but first of all, I always start with my silk. I already have that on and I've actually already got my tin and moisturizer on. I'm wearing medium. And then I applied my tan foundation and I'm loving it mixed with buff. And that's really my most favorite combination right now. So <clears throat> these blue brushes that we get from Synagens that are gorgeous by the way. I just do a half a pump of buff and a half a pump of tan. And it kind of gives me that coverage and also that little bit of color. So that's the color that I am currently wearing. And the tinted moisturizer just, you know, covers up my unevenness. So in the summer, I just love to have the least amount of products that I have to put on as possible because I do everything in a hurry. So it's really just basic stuff. So then I do light concealer. And what I love to do with the concealer is mix it with an eyeshadow. So I take Whisper Pink and I do this little thing. Hey, don't judge me, all you girls out there that are perfect at this. This is just what I do. I take the light on my hand, I put it on my brush, and then I just mix these two. So Whisper Pink and Light Concealer to highlight under my eyes. And then I'm gonna go for the eyebrows. 
I love to use one of two things, either the brow pencil liner or the waterproof black brow mascara. So whichever you choose to do, it doesn't really matter. You just want to make sure you brush those upward, the hairs up, and then I just draw around in light strokes in there. I don't even push really hard. So I just outline the brow, it's already natural shape. Fill in and then I take a angle brush and blend that out. Brush it back up. And they look natural. And it's super easy, okay? So there's the brows. The next thing that I'm gonna do is really, <laughs> I only wore one color for this, and it's one of my favorite for like just that Hawaii glow that I wanted to have for this look, being in the sun. Um, this, what is this called? The Bronze Blush Shimmer Shadow. And I just put it all over down here. There's no fancy technique. And then I get one of our shadow brushes and just kind of pat that in. And really this is just an all over lid color. You can make this as pigmented as you want. You can make it as light as you want. Whatever you want it to be, but I just was going for easy, kind of natural and just something to go with um, my sun-kissed skin. Okay, so that's that. And now we're gonna do some eyeliner and mascara and blush. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is take that same eyebrow, eyebrow pencil that I put in my eyebrows, eyeliner pencil, and I'm just gonna line a really thin, skinny line, top and bottom. Don't make fun of how I hold my face my nose. Do you hold your mouth open while you're putting on your makeup? Of course you do. So this pencil just goes right in the waterline. I mean, literally, if I wasn't talking to you, my makeup would have been on in five seconds. That's how easy it is. Okay, so eyeliner's on. Next is my blush. My go-to is Shadow Sense in Pink Posy. I absolutely love that. I really just take a couple dots here, a couple dots here, and it's super easy. And it just, it's a little bit mm, bronzy, has a little bit of warmth, like a, a terracotta type um, warm tone. So it's not super pinky. So it gives me that warm and that pink together, that mauve. But I just, I love it because I carry that with me everywhere and then I always have an eyeshadow and I always have a blush, easy. Okay, next we're gonna prime our lashes. You can curl them if you'd like. Um, this primer is amazing. I wear it every day, whether I am full makeup or not, just because I love how long it makes my eyelashes look. Now, if you wanted to um, do a little extra, you could take that Whisper Pink shadow and put that in the corners of your eyes, but for this look, really, I was just doing the bare minimum. So I didn't put a lot of extra stuff, not a lot of extra colors, it was just the basic stuff. I do see that I need to. Okay, so primer's on. I love to do my lips while I am letting my primer set for one second. We're gonna put on this new Madeira Topaz. I'm gonna line first. And and we'll do our coat down here. This is a beautiful, beautiful, like plummy pink. 
Okay, there's one coat of that. I'm gonna go back to my mascara. I love the non-waterproof, it's my favorite. And coat my lashes. And one thing that I forgot to put on, guys, is my pearlizer. I do always wear pearlizer. I will, I'll show you here in just a second. I highlight a little bit on my nose and under my eyes with pearlizer. Remember that uh, dewy skin looks healthy and I just always want my skin to look glowing and healthy. So I coat my lashes and then I'll go back and I'll finish my lip color. Don't you guys love how quickly you can do your makeup? I do. Okay, so we're gonna go back to this. I do not have a gloss. But I'm gonna get one. Oh, I love this color. Okay, so there's two of that. Pearlizer, take a little bit of the pearlizer and just put it right here on this bone. Right here. Tap, 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 tap. And then a little bit on the bridge of the nose. That's all you gotta do. And my last coat of that beautiful lip color, and then we're gonna gloss. So Bougainvillea gloss is one of my favorites. I carry it everywhere, and it goes over everything. So that is this look. I hope you enjoyed it. I love our products, and I know you do too. Every show, we end by saying, live life in love and abundance, and then work for it. It is the motto that this company was built upon, one that is near and dear to my heart and the hearts of those who work for this company. Hey y'all, and my name is Danielle Gerhardt out of Fort Worth, Texas. I've been with Cinegens for four years. Just celebrated my four year anniversary in March actually. Um, and I had a goal to be at home with my then one daughter, now two daughters. But my confidence did not catch up with my goal until about two years later in January of 2019 when I decided to put full-time efforts and intentional mindset into making my goal a reality, into being a stay-at-home mom and working this as a full-time career. Um, in October of 2020, that dream came true and I hit the rank of crown princess. So it's been an insane and wild ride, but I could not be uh, happier to have done this with, with some amazing women. Um, being a crown princess is more about more, more than just being um, a title or a leader, it's being able to see other people's lives transform right in front of your very own eyes. Like whatever, how big, small, in between dreams they have, being a crown princess means that other people are seeing their dreams come true. And that is priceless, absolutely priceless. I don't know about you all, but I could listen to these amazing women all day. Unfortunately, our time here is coming to a close. But first, we want to make sure one of you lucky winners has the products you need to recreate that look that Dawn showed us earlier. If you want a chance to win this incredible giveaway, tag three of your go-to girls in the comments below. And with that, this episode of Billion Dollar Lips is wrapped. Remember to choose to live life in love and abundance and then work for it. See you next time.